We the people that need the food. During Paleolithic times, people hunted and gathered and moved around for their food. They would follow the meat depending on climate and where the animals went. They started planting their food as plant life became more domesticable. Animals started to die out because of the climate and increase of hunting. The surplus in land gave them a reason to start farming instead. Farming started to settle people down because they started to have more and more food. The food was more closer to the settlements that they started to build for homes and on the land as well. Chattayuk was the first town that they discovered in the Fertile Crescent. Fertile Crescent areas provided more animals and the ability to transport food easier. That's where the East-West theory came into place. A theory saying that it's easier to transport food from East lands first than to West because of the axis the Earth is on. That affects the climate the lands will receive. This is why in the U.S. we have more advancements in food technology and development. We receive the new advancements way before Africa does, for example. Food accessibility and customs in the U.S. is more easier for us because of that. This is the basic home structure in Africa, an example of how they get their daily food. This is the average American life for someone getting food for their day. They either get them at the supermarkets already shipped off to the U.S. by companies or they get fast food restaurants on the go such as McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, etc. The average American adult gets 11.3% of their daily calorie from fast food in a study from 2007 to 2010 by Shayla Bautista and Carolina Franco.